In this video, I will guide you through creating a dashboard. Dashboards are useful for displaying KPI watch lists, analyses, and other elements creatable within OBIEE. In the first video, we made an analysis, and in our second video, we made a KPI. The analysis is ready to put into our dashboard, but the KPI needs to be put into a KPI watch list before it can be put into our dashboard. Let's briefly create a KPI watch list for our KPI. From the home screen, click New and select KPI Watch List from the Performance Management section. Search the catalog in the left column for the KPI that we created earlier. Once you have found it, click and drag it onto the top row of the table under the Performance tab of the new KPI Watch List. You should now see each dimension that we added to the KPI. Keeping the value next to the hierarchy as Use Point of View lets us select the values at runtime. This flexibility is often referred to as being unpinned. Once the query is processed, you should see a status label along with the actual and target values. If we want to receive information about a trend, we must first pin our time to match what we selected for our trending value. Since we selected per name month, we should pin our KPI to a month under the time hierarchy. Click and drag the KPI from the catalog onto the second row of the table. Click the arrow next to the time hierarchy, expand total time, expand 2010, expand the first quarter, and select February. In the table, you should see a blue pin on the KPI icon in the row that we pinned the time value. This indicates that the KPI has been pinned. You can continue adding the KPI to the table and try to pin offices from the office hierarchy or products from the product hierarchy. You can also add any other KPIs to the watch list that you might have created while experimenting with OBIEE. They will all be displayed on the watch list and on the dashboard when we create it. If you want to edit a watch list entry, click the KPI to select it, click on Objects just above the table, and then click Edit Watch List Entry. When you're finished with the KPI watch list, don't forget to save your work. I'm going to save my file under the same folder as my KPI and call it My First Watch List. Now it's time to add this, along with our analysis, to a dashboard. Create a new dashboard by selecting Dashboard from the new menu at the top. I'm going to call my dashboard My First Dashboard and save it under my folders in a folder called Dashboard. Make sure you select the option to Add Content Now and then click OK to continue. Adding elements to the dashboard is easy. Find the desired files within the catalog on the left, then click and drag them where it says Drop Content Here. You can add dashboard objects such as columns and sections for formatting to enhance your dashboard experience. I'm going to keep my dashboard simple and just add My First Analysis and My First Watch List. Save your work, then click Run to see what our dashboard returns. Clicking Run will open up a new window where you should see your analysis and your watch list.